Hey, how's it going guys? This is Onisha Biggs with another pharmacy tech lesson and today I'm going to be teaching you about intravenous calculations. Um, but before we get started, I wanted to let you know about the PTCB uh, live sessions that I'm going to be hosting here on the channel. Um, if you don't know about them already and if you're going to be studying for your PTCB or your National Pharmacy Technician exam, make sure that you go below. I'm going to place a link there for the list so you can sign up and get the updates on when the sessions will be held here so you don't miss any okay um, it's going to be live sessions we're going to discuss different topics requested by you guys that you've sent to the email pharmacy tech lessons at gmail.com and I'm also going to be doing a little Q&A um, after the sessions are over okay so you don't want to miss out on these sessions especially if you're studying for your tests or you're looking to get certified in 2017 okay so let's go ahead and get started Okay, so with intravenous solutions, um, you have what's called the flow rate. And let me get my marker. Let me get my marker here so we can keep up clearly. But you have what's called the flow rate. And basically, the definition of flow rate, just for your understanding, is um, it's an IV drip. Okay, um, you got fluid flow at a particular speed. Okay, so for example, if you were to say uh, 10 drops per minute and as we know if you studied your SIGs already then you know that GTT is also equivalent to drops okay um, so or you could say volume over time for the flow rate okay so any amount of volume um, over an amount of time so you might say um, 20 drops per minute or 60 drops per minute which would also be equivalent to one drop per second okay um, and also with intravenous solutions we're gonna talk about um, the most common ones which would be number one we have here you have your salt solutions so with your salt solutions it's typically going to be NS which is also um, if you if you don't know already it means a uh, normal saline um, and that's a 0.9 percent solution of sodium chloride also another common one is um, the one half NS which is uh, 0.45 sodium chloride okay and also we have the one fourth NS which is uh, 0.225 percent of sodium chloride as well and moving on to the sugar solutions we have D5W and for D5W this is basically a 5 percent dextrose glucose um, because these are sugar solutions so that is a sugar um, glucose in water okay so that's your D5W and the second one that we have under the sugar solutions would be the Ringer solution which is very common and or lactated Ringer is also another name for it okay so now that we have a little basic background on different solutions and what we're dealing with which is uh, volume over time now let's work out an actual problem um, in a real case scenario that will be presented to you okay so I have my notes here and uh, we're going to go through this one practice problem so it says here a patient receives 250 ml of normal saline in two hours what is the hourly flow rate okay so we have 250 ml in two hours so basically what we're going to do is is asking what is the hourly flow rate so per hour so basically what we need to do is uh, take two and divide it into 250 and that will give us our hourly rate okay so basically we have 125 ml per hour and let's just basically think about this okay so if you went back to the other videos then you know how we calculate ratios okay so that's basically what we're doing um, when we do this this is just this answer is gotten out of a ratio proportion so just to break it down let's show what it looks like let's see we have 250 over 2 and we're trying to figure out how many is it over one hour so this is two hours 
so how what's this is the variable that's missing okay so basically we will cross uh, multiply which will give us 2x equals 250 to isolate the variable of uh, x 2 2 and then we say x is equal to 125 ml per hour so you can have your units there okay so it checks off to be the same thing so that's basically um, what it means with saying volume over time that's basically how you would uh, conduct and break down those word problems okay okay so let's work a second problem okay just so we make sure we have understanding of this so again same type concept we're dealing with volume over time so this problem says a patient is to receive one liter of saline in a one hour fusion infusion what is the flow rate in milliliters per minute okay so in this case they're looking for mls over one minute okay all right so let's see here it says one liter so if we consider one liter um, and convert that to mls um, if you look back on the video with converting then you know this already um, one liter over it says a one hour infusion so we got one hour and it wants milliliters per minute so first we need to convert these okay so one liter equals what 1000 milliliters and we know one hour equals into minutes it equals 60 minutes okay so basically now we do what we did in the last problem we just divide 60 into 1000 and the answer that we get would be um, if you're working in your calculator it's going to come out to 16 16 milliliters per minute that's per minute okay so basically like we did in the last problem you just um isolate the variable set up your problem work it then you isolate the variable and it should come out to the same thing of 16 ml per minute okay so those are the basic concepts when working intravenous problems like that um you're giving most of the time they're going to be word problems on the test and you just break them down like so you always want to remember the basic concept and also look at what they're asking you for and that should give you your correct answer every time um, when you're working out in the correct units associated with that number okay so if this video has helped you out any in any form or way then go ahead and leave a comment below also don't forget if you're interested in um, studying for your PTCB test or any other national pharmacy technician exam then go ahead and get on the list that the link it will be below um, get on that list and you'll get alerts on when the live sessions will be taking place here on YouTube okay also if you have any more requests or any other videos that you would like to see then let me know um, got a lot of new things coming up for 2017 so really excited about that um, thank you guys so much for tuning in and I hope that the future videos will help you as well this has been Onisha Biggs with another pharmacy tech lesson you have a great day bye bye